muscles are amazing things. The hardest working muscle in the body is probably the heart, and it beats two and a half billion times in the average lifespan. But what do you need to keep your muscles healthy? Protein, my friends. And that's because muscles and organs are made up mostly of protein, but you are constantly losing it from your body. So you need to eat loads and loads of protein-rich foods to help rebuild muscle, to help build your body tissues, and to help your blood to carry oxygen around the body. But some people need more protein than others. I'm Danny Cipriani. I play rugby for Cell Sharks in England, and I play fly half. I've been nine years professional now. I made my debut at 17. Um, I'm 26, so if I can eat the right foods and train in the right way, I've got about another 10 years left in me. My job it requires me to have speed, power, strength and agility. And, you know, to get through the game, you, you have to make sure you're doing the appropriate training throughout the week. We normally have a weight session, sort of do that for an hour and a half in the morning. It's important that you work your full body because, you know, you have to have that, that speed or leg power, especially in my position. but. I don't want to get too big, otherwise I'll slow up. But I also need to be in the right size so the bigger guys aren't trampling all over me. Post that session, it's key to get your proteins in and, and your carbohydrates. Sweet. We'll have some scrambled eggs, um, which will be my source of protein today. And then I'll also have 125 grams of rice with it as well. It's important that I eat the right blends of protein and, and carbs and get that in me for, for, for my session and especially post-session to make sure I get the, the best out of it and, and you get sort of the best recovery for the next one as well. Getting ready for next weekend game starts now really. Danny's pushing his muscles to the extreme on a daily basis so he needs a high protein diet to help build up his muscles and to repair them. Now think of proteins as chains, and each link in the chain is an amino acid. Now out of 21 main amino acids, nine are essential. Essential because your body can't make them. A protein chain from an animal product like milk, eggs, meat or fish contains all nine essential amino acids, and so they're known as complete proteins. Incomplete proteins don't contain all nine essential amino acids, but you can combine those foods to hit the magic number. We're talking plant-based foods here, such as nuts, cereals, seeds and beans. Now, it's all very well saying that Mr Fishy here is packed with protein, but I always want to see these things, so I want to get a food and extract the neat protein out of it. I'm not going to do it with Mr Trouty here. I'm going to do it with this. A glass of milk. This is how we're going to do it. First of all, I'm going to curdle the milk. All we need to do is to add some acid. I've got a couple of lemons here. I'm going to squeeze this in, and then it's going to look really unpleasant. Ugh. Oh, that is already disgusting. So all these kind of grains you can see around here are all the proteins that have clumped together, but they're still sitting in a kind of solution of sugars and fats and water. So I'm going to strain this. Go through here. Okay, so now we've got this kind of watery liquid left behind. And in here should be some of the solids. <laughs> it doesn't look very pleasant, but this is basically a type of cheese already. But it's still got all the fat inside it, so I want to remove the fat. Now, fat doesn't dissolve in water. It dissolves in solvents. I've got some ethanol here and that should do the trick. Now, ethanol is flammable and it's an irritant, so handle with care and don't splash it around. OK, that should have dissolved all of the fat, so there's still solids in there and that ought to be the casein, which is the protein that's in milk. I need to strain this one more time and hopefully we'll find our protein. Not enough protein causes malnutrition. Not good in anyone's book, but too much protein can also cause problems like heart disease. What's left in here ought to be pure casein. There we go. That is the protein from half a glass of milk. It's actually a heck of a lot, but you wouldn't think it from such a watery substance. It's such an important part of our diet that without it, we simply wouldn't exist.